hello friends hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel novatech videos and this is the series of windows server 2022 by running a wizard and before that let me tell you something this is my domain controller and uh, i'll install the certificate authority as well on the same server but if you have any separate machines it is always recommended to install the certificate authority role on a different server so this is demo environment or test environment so let's proceed to install the certificate authority we have to go to server manager and from here manage add roles and features click on next click on next click next and from the roles we will select certificate not this one the first one active directory certificate services so we have selected this and now click on next and next and also next from here so we want only the certificate authority or cert certificate enrollment using policy web services so you can pick or choose as per your requirement but i'm going to select the enrollment web service and web enrollment as well and i think this is fine with me okay web role ias will be installed on this server and these are the component or the services which will be installed okay and install it so this is going to take some time until then i will pause the video and once the installation is completed i resume the video back so the role and feature is installed now and it is asking to configure active directory uh, certificate services on the destination server this is fine let's click on this and it will open up a new wizard from here for active directory certificate services configuration okay and this is the domain account ganesh sir and the credentials let's input the credentials firstly so there is no error ganesh sir and the password so the credentials are validated now and let's click on next certificate authority I'll select role services to configure i want this and the certificate authority web enrollment and web services the enrollment web services cannot be installed on this computer simultaneously okay and that's fine all these two are fine our goal is to create a template and deploy a ldap certificate for kerberos authentication let's click on next and this is the enterprise ca i have prepared a video on enterprise and stand alone ca so if you want to watch or know more about the standalone and enterprise certificate authority you can watch the video so i'm going to install enterprise ca that's fine and click on next and this is the root ca there is no root c available so i will not add as subordinate c okay uh, click on next 
I'll create a new private key so I do not have any existing private key so I'll create a new one okay next and uh, the key length and that is 2048 and SA 256 this is fine algorithm for the certificate so allow administrator interaction when the private key it's accessed by CA so I am leaving it as is click next common name for the CA this is fine test iPhone test uh, let me change the name test iPhone DC1 hyphen CA and distinguish name suffix that is test and DC local that's fine and preview of distinguished name that is this one let's click on next now and specify select the validity period for the certificate generated for certificate authority so five years that is fine but uh, you can select the years as per your environment or organization's recommendations so five years for me this is fine click on next and certificate database location we can select if we have any other drive and that is recommended too but in my case this is just a demo environment so i'm fine with any location I click on next now and configure so the configuration has started so it will create the certificate key and other active directory services components okay so configuration succeeded and let's close the wizard and do you want to configure additional roles the server yes okay and I was looking for this role uh, installment web services so last time it not, did not allow so the target server computer name is this and CA name is that's fine configure the certificate enrollment web server for renewal only mode so what is renewal renewal only mode requires that the targeted CA run at least Windows Server 2008 so I do not need the renewal only mode because my complete infrastructure that is on 2019 and 2022 server based so let's click on next Windows integrated authentication so I'm fine with this what I have uh, two more choice client certificate authentication or username and password so windows integrated authentication is fine let's leave it as default and click on next specify the service account here so this is asking for the service account so the account selected must be a member of uh, so and so group ias and if the Kerberos is selected as the authentication type a service principal name is required for this service account so I do not have any certificate account I will use my same account that is having multiple roles assigned let's see this account is not a member of local machine IES user the specified user account is not member of a specified group okay so let's check what are the default groups we have not able to find any users let's search this IIS underscore search with this okay so this is the group for IES services member I'll add the member 
icon is R. You can use the service account for this. Okay, apply. Okay, so this is now member of this group. Let's try one more time. Okay, icon is R and then password. Hope it will go successful now. Okay, username, password incorrect. Let me re enter. And my password. Okay, accept it. And now click on next. Choose an existing certificate for SSL encryption. And that's fine. Okay, so this is the certificate and let's check out the properties. So this is the certificate is tagged. Let's click on next and configure. So the configuration is also completed. So the certificate authority along with the, the web services, those are installed now and Let's generate a certificate for LDAPs. Open. Uh, the certificate authority from tools. Okay, and this is certificate authority which is recently created and I'll select the certificate templates. And here I have a template. Let's check it out. So this is for client authentication, server authentication, and KDC authentication. That's fine. Okay, from here, certificate template, I could see is it there and let's right click and uh, click on manage and look for the Kerberos authentication and from here we will duplicate this template compatibility okay we will go with only 2016 request and see a database Okay, that's fine. And client recipient is also 20. That's fine. In general, uh, I'll give LDAPs. Yeah. Yes, or LDAP over SSL. Validity each one year. And renewal period publish. Certificate in Active Directory. I leave it as is and request handling. Allow private key to be exported. And sometimes we also need or some service account need to access the private key. So this is fine, key permissions. We can add it later also. Renew with, for automatic renewal of a smart card, this is fine. So I'll apply and okay. And let's go back to the certificate template. So add into certificate template, click on new certificate template to issue and from here select the 
recently create a template okay and it's here so this template uh, is available now and let's go to the certificate in local computer and here uh, yes this is already issued test dc1 ca this is already issued and uh, let's check for that certificate now request new certificate and click active directory enrollment policy this is fine and if that is success on the certificate template is successfully published uh, it will be listed out over here yes it is there LDAPs enroll and finish so we can see the certificate is generated now and our certificate authority and that is working fine so we can create the templates and deploy to the client machines.